the 2021 Ford F-150 Lariat. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, where you can find the most in-depth video walk-arounds on our different Ford vehicles, specific to the model and trim. So we are going to cover the Lariat trim. That's the only uh, equipment we're going to talk about on this particular vi video here. And we're going to focus in, of course, on the brand new 2021 Ford F-150. So we're finally getting some vehicles in, able to do some of these videos. Um, and so we're going to start with this Lariat trim because it is one that we have actually a couple in in stock right now. And so we're going to cover all the standard equipment first uh, in the first part of this video. And then we're going to go ahead and then cover the equipment groups as well as the different appearance packages and other packages and even standalone options. So we're going to get very thorough in this video. It might be a little long. So I will tell you that. And if you want to skip around, move around in the video, timestamps will be down below. Also, if you look on the timeline, if you're in a desktop or maybe even mobile, you can move around and see those different dots along that timeline on that video. And you can move along two different uh, parts of the video that way and go through this with us. So uh, very thorough videos. If you like videos like this, you may want to check out our, our YouTube channel. Hit the red subscribe button down below so you can get subscribed to our channel. Hit the notification bell. You'll also get notified the next time another video uploads to our YouTube channel. Also, if you're interested, you like these videos, you want to work with us as a dealership uh, on your new 2021 F-150 order, uh, we can do that for you. We do free shipping. More information about that is going to be at the end of the video, so check that out. Do have a timestamp for that as well, and that'll be down. Those all those timestamps will be down in the description as well as optional equipment with prices will be down in the description as well. So uh, be looking at that as you're going through this video, and uh, let's get let's just dive right in. We are going to talk about some safety features first and then some functional uh, capabilities how you can order these what gear ratios and that kind of thing again very thorough videos so let's dive right in so let's talk about some of the safety precautions and you're probably not watching this video for safety but I do like to cover everything uh, otherwise it would be called a complete guide so let's first talk about the airbags that are on the f-150 and specifically the lariat you do have the dual stage front airbag so driver and front passenger different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle there are sensors underneath those seats so it tells the system which airbag to deploy also you do have side impact airbag for the driver and front passenger it deploys from the side of those seats from those side collisions most of those side collisions do happen on the front uh, part of the vehicle and that's why you see that on the on the side also you do have your uh, so the side canopy airbags as well that deploy down. So those are going to help protect from breaking glass, has a sensor for any rollovers, uh, so help protect occupants from that breaking glass coming into the vehicle in any kind of a rollover situation as well as heads you know, coming over towards the side of the vehicle. Also, you do have, uh, go along with that, you have advanced track with roll stability control to help you keep you on your intended path so you hopefully you don't have that rollover situation. Uh, it does also come with curve control, so if you go on that curve a little too fast or you're in a slick driving road, it's gonna help protect, keep you on your intended path and hopefully not have that rollover situation to begin with. Uh, now, if you do have that situation, it does have SOS post-crash alert system that honks the horns, flashes the lights if you're in an accident so people can come to your safety. Also, you have 911 assist, so if you're not able to get to your cell phone, if you're in an accident, uh, 911 will call into the vehicle, especially if those airbags do end up deploying, uh, and they'll help come to your safety. So you're calling 911 directly as long as you have your Bluetooth-enabled phone connected to the vehicle. Also, talk about kids here in the back. There are child safety locks in these doors. So if you open those up, you can see on the side, just put the key in there and you can go ahead and lock those doors out so the kids can't open those when you're maybe stopped or you don't want them to get out or something like that. Uh, those types of situations. Also, you do have the latch system, lower anchors and tethers for children. So you can securely fasten those safety, those car seats back into the seats, you know, using that, those tether systems instead of having to use the shoulder strap that comes with it. So it's more permanent and it's more secure. You can fasten those really tight that way using the, the hooks on the bottom as well as it does have the hooks on behind those seats for the, for the front facing car seats as well right there. So great ways to protect you in the vehicle. And let's talk about some other safety precautions that come with the vehicle and that's pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. Coming out a couple of years ago now, pre-collision assist comes with your uh, detection, your front collision uh, warning uh, and your system there. Also comes with pedestrian detection and it comes with automatic emergency braking. So a uh, way that works is that if there's someone going slower, uh, you know, going, uh, you know, maybe they're stopped and you're not paying attention, you're not hitting your brake, it's gonna alert you. It's gonna put a warning on your dash there 
Also, serious it tones that you need to stop. And if you don't hit your brakes, it's going to initiate brake support to help lessen the severity of that accident, or maybe avoid it altogether uh, if it's if you're not going, you know, if you're going slow enough there. Now, keep this in mind: this is not front collision, not front sensing system. Uh, that is a different system. So, front collision warning is going to only be activated when you're going 10 miles an hour or more, uh, and it's really looking for that accident like that. Whereas front collision or front sensing system actually is allowing you to help you when you're parking the vehicle in a garage or something like that, that's more of a slower speeds uh, and that's going to be activated in those different situations. Front sensing system is not standard equipment on uh, the vehicle. We'll get into more of those uh, different systems here in a little bit. Also you do get post collision braking. So if you're in that accident and for some reason you know you're unconscious or something foot comes off the brake, it's going to break so that way you don't wander off into more traffic and make that accident more severe uh, and keep going forward. So post collision braking is another great system here. Also, Lariats do get a standard equipment reverse brake assist. We did see that on the Explorer last year and so as you're backing up, uh, if you're not, uh, of course, it does have the sensing system and the camera back there, but also if you're going to, just like the front one, the, the pre-collision on the front, if you're going to back up and hit something, you're not paying attention, it's going to initiate that break so it stops you before you hit those uh, kids in the back or whatever it might be as you're backing out of the parking lots and different things like that. So great systems there. Also, you do have the advanced security package, so that is going to help you uh, kind of protect the vehicle. Uh, you have the passive NFF system, you do also have your intrusion warnings and everything else to go along with that uh, uh, with the vehicle perimeter alarm and all those different systems to help keep people away from your vehicle even if you have your windows rolled down if somebody if they if it senses that there's someone has reached in and the doors are locked it's going to set those alarms off for the the vehicle so a great system there and that's all of our standard quick when it comes to some of the safety features let's move on i want to talk about how the configurations you can uh, order your vehicles in for the lariat trim what are the different gear ratios, engines, and those kind of things. So let's get into some of the uh, mechanical stuff here. I want to talk about the different uh, cab configurations, bed links, uh, your engines that are available, uh, and some that are, what are what standard and what cost extra when you go up to those, and your optional engines, as well as we're going to talk about the different gear ratios as well and what's standard and what's available for you. So first talking about the cab configurations, we do have, these are, and Lariat is the last one that's available in the Super Cab. Uh, so you can get a Super Cab Lariat. So if you want a, a, a nice luxury truck, Super Cab Lariat's where you probably want to be uh, looking here. Uh, you can get, uh, so you can get these in either Super Cab or Super Crew, no regular cab for the Lariat trim. Uh, they will come with a couple different bed links as well. So your Super Cabs will come in either a six and a half foot bed or an eight foot bed. And the Super Crew will come in either a five and a half foot bed or a six and a half foot bed. Also, of course, all those configurations are available in either two wheel drive or four wheel drive as well there. Also, let's talk about the different engines. The standard engine on the Lariat Tram is the 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost engine. Great performing engine uh, with some great numbers there, as you can see on the screen. Uh, so they will come paired with the auto, auto start-stop technology. In fact, all these engines that we're going to talk about will come with the auto start-stop technology, which means if you come with the stop light, stop sign, press the brake, the vehicle is going to shut off. And then as soon as you let go of the brake, it's going to turn it back on. Really to help with emissions when you're at those stoplights, stop signs. But if that's something you don't want uh, activated, there is a, a, a de dis disable button there. You just go ahead and it's an a, it's a, a with a circle around it. Just go ahead and click on that and it'll deactivate it for that trip. Now, the 2.7 is standard. Now, on certain situations, the 5.0 liter V8 is standard. So, 5.0 liter engine on the any of those long beds, so Super Cab, 8-foot bed, or Super Crew, uh, with the six and a half foot bed that are four by four will come standard in the 5.0 liter V8 engine. And again, great numbers on that engine as well. Uh, a lot of performance there. If you're wanting some good, uh, you want that V8 sound, that's the engine you want. If you want some pretty decent towing there as well, the V8 is another one you might look at uh, for that engine. Now you can get that engine as, uh, on the two wheel drives as well, as well as the short beds. Uh, it's just gonna be your optional engine. So you wanna make sure you let them know you want that optional engine for your two wheel drive super crew if you're wanting that uh, that engine. Also another, a couple other engines that are available as, stand, as optional equipment. One of them is your 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine. So that engine of course is for, uh, you know, it has a, a major amount of torque there. So you can see with those numbers and will have great towing capabilities for you as well. 
uh, if you're looking to tow your vehicle, you want to tow the, you know, quite a bit with your F-150, which will. Uh, you may want to look at that EcoBoost engine. It has almost the best, the most towing of the engines on, in this lineup. Uh, so that engine is going to be optional for you. Also come with the auto start stop technology as well. Then you do have your 3.0 liter, uh, that diesel engine. So it's the only uh, diesel engine in the lineup. If you're wanting that diesel engine, it will give you over 14,000 pounds of towing and some pretty good numbers uh, when it comes to torque there, as you can see. Uh, so that, that engine is a great towing engine for you. If you're wanting that engine, uh, you'll want to make sure you order that. That engine is not available in uh, the 4x4 or the two-wheel drive long beds, I believe, uh, super cab. So keep that in mind if you're wanting that. It's, uh, there's a couple configurations it's not available in. And then you have the new engine for this year, that power boost engine. Happen to have it on this truck here. 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost does have the hybrid technology, so it pairs that, that 3.5 EcoBoost along with the hybrid technology and the hybrid transmission uh, to give you some great numbers, uh, great, uh, great power with that new engine. Also comes with the auto start stop as well as all of the engines and the 10 speed automatic transmission on all those engines. Of course, you'll have a special uh, hybrid transmission for the power boost, but all the other engines will come with the 10 speed automatic transmissions too. So I uh, covered all that. So we're going to move ahead. I want to talk about some of the gear ratios here. Now we're going to talk about the standard gear ratios, but keep in mind as I talk about these, uh, you can't upgrade any of these gear ratios to the, uh, to any of the others. You just want to make sure you tell your dealership that you do want to upgrade. So uh, the standard uh, gear ratio for your two wheel drive with your, or your 2.7 liters, actually two or four by four is going to be the 355 non liberal slip rear axle. Uh, so that's going to kind of come standard with the 2.7 engines. Now on your 5.0 liter engine, uh, two wheel drive or four wheel drive will also come with, or actually the two wheel drives will come with a 315 non limit slip rear axle and your 4x4s will come with the, 350, the, the 331 non limit slip rear axle. Now both your EcoBoost, your 3.5 EcoBoost engine as well as your 3.0 liter diesel engine, whether it be two wheel drive or 4x4, will come standard in the 331 non limit slip rear axle. And let's talk about the power boost. The power boost is a little bit different here. You're going to get electronic locking uh, gear ratios as your standard ones. The two wheel drives will come with a 355 uh, electronic locking and your 4x4s will come with a 373 because it has so much power, it needs electronic locking gear ratios uh, for just because of all that power it has. So now keep in mind, you can upgrade to, to you know, electronic locking as well as upgrade instead if you want to, instead of a 315 that comes standard, you can always upgrade it to a 355 and there are going to be some packages that are going to upgrade that gear ratio as well as we talk about those. But uh, if you do want gear, different gear ratios, you want to make sure you get an electronic locking and a standard engine that does not come with it, you want to make sure you tell your dealership you want that so that way it'll, it'll be optional equipment it will cost you usually they're about three four hundred dollars to upgrade to some of those different electronic locking gear ratios but it's well worth it if you plan on towing your vehicle now as I move to the front up here, a couple things I want to talk about that are available on all of your vehicles when it comes to the different selectable drive modes. So all these will come, the F-150s will come with selectable drive modes. Whether you have a two-wheel drive or a four-wheel drive, you're going to have some of those drive modes. You have about six for the two-wheel drives and you'll have seven for the four by fours. So you'll have a normal, you have an eco, a sport mode, tow haul, a slippery mode. Your two-wheel drives will have a trail mode, whereas your four by fours will have a deep sand, uh, sand and uh, rock mode and then you do have the mud rut mode as well so those are different modes for you and uh, you just use that dial just to turn those into those different drive modes uh, and you can see how it will change there on your screen and very dynamic with that new productivity screen we'll get more into that when we get inside uh, and then also your, you notice the 4x4s will come with your 4x4 shift on the fly uh, the lariat and above will get the two speed auto four wheel drive system. So you can put it in that four, four auto as well as four high, four low, like you can in the XLT and XL. Uh, so those, I want to kind of point that out. Also, you're going to get front stabilizer bar as well as front independent suspension. So give you a, a great ride uh, there, giving you the different flexibilities there and uh, just a great way. It does have your fail safe uh, cooling system in here as well. And uh, just a great way to just uh, have a great ride here. Let's talk about the look up here on the front. Now this is uh, just I'm telling you, this is a 502A equipment group and we're going to get into that equipment group in a little bit uh, with the Chrome appearance package. So 
the front will look a little different, so I may have to bring you some clips from Ford's website because we probably won't order too many just 500A standard equipment trucks. We're ordering most of them with the 502A equipment group, uh, so it will look a little different here on the front. One of them has to do with the headlights up here. So you will get LED automatic LED reflector headlights. So these extra projectors, uh, so the reflectors you can see there, uh, so you can see they're gonna give you LEDs so much brighter. Automatic feature means when, you know, having the auto setting, uh, when it gets dark, the lights will just go ahead and come on. And when it gets light out, it'll go ahead and turn off for you. You don't have to worry about it. And what's really cool about this system, just like they did with the Escape, and Explorer for last year is when you shut the vehicle off, it automatically gets flipped over to the to the auto setting. So when you turn the vehicle on, maybe you don't forget it's dust, you know, maybe the light out, you know, early in the morning or something, you need those headlights on or something, it's gonna go ahead and, and have it in that mode for you. If you happen to turn them off or turn them to the to the headlights, when you turn the vehicle off, when you turn it back on, it goes straight to the auto setting, which is kind of cool. Also, LED corner lights, the cornering lights over here, you can see that beside the headlights as well as beside the LED fog lights down here too. So you'll have LED fog lights going along with your, your LED headlights here. You also get auto high beams, standard equipment for this. So there'll be LED to go along with it. So LED low beam and high beam. And the, those auto high beams work a lot like your automatic headlights. So if it's dark enough outside, you're in a dark alley or something, they're gonna automatically come on. If someone approaches you in the city lights, they'll turn off. And that is a feature you can activate and deactivate in your lighting setting screen there. Let's talk about the grill up here. Again, the, the grill will look a little different. This is, this is a, the chrome grill. So a, the only difference is gonna be the surround. So let's talk about this chrome two bar grill with the minor bar right in the middle. I love the look of that, by the way. We will have the black surround and the black inserts. So again, a little different than this grill right here. The surround and inserts are gonna look different. This one has silver painted instead of black. So that's the only difference between the chrome appearance package grill and the standard grill. Also, you do have the chrome bumpers down here. So real sharp looking. You will have tow hooks on the front. If it's a four x four, they will not be chrome uh, until you go to the chrome appearance package. So all your 502As and any with the chrome appearance package there on the, on the front. So uh, great look to the vehicle. Let's go ahead and move around to the side and check out some of the different features and appearance on the side of the vehicle. So moving around to the side over here, this will come standard with the steel frame on this. So of course a high strength steel frame with the aluminum body that goes along with it. You will get on the uh, gas shocks on the front as well as the rear. Uh, the rear ones will be outbound mounted uh, back here. Also your springs, front springs will be coil. The rear springs will be leaf springs back there. And then four wheel disc brakes are gonna be standard equipment uh, on all four of the wheels here. Standard wheel be the 18 inch aluminum wheel with the magnetic painted pocket. So this is actually a chrome appearance package. So I'm gonna give you a clip from Ford's website so you can see what that looks like. Uh, your two wheel drives will all be all season tires. The four by fours will come with all terrain tires. All of them will of course come with the, the uh, tire pressure monitoring system that goes along with that. Over here on the side, the uh, fender badge over here, of course is gonna be a nice chrome fender badge. Uh, functional fender vents over here and that goes along with that as well. Uh, of course, your EcoBoost engines or the PowerBoost will have your badging on the doors, uh, just like you're seeing with this particular vehicle here. Now let's talk about these uh, mirrors for a second. A lot of features here. You do power folding feature that goes along with this mirror, uh, heat, uh, power feature as well for the, the glass itself. You're gonna also get auto dimming feature for the driver's side mirror. So it means those cars come by, by you with those bright lights, it'll dim that mirror automatically for you. You're gonna have a high intensity security approach lamp. So this lamp right underneath the bottom is gonna light up, also be included in your uh, zone lighting uh, as well to go along with that. Uh, so it's gonna look great. And also you're gonna see the LED spotlights over here. So it's gonna cast that spotlight on the side using the buttons above your headlight switch there. Uh, and then you're gonna have a body colored mirror cap to go along with that. I don't know, can't remember if I mentioned that. A lot of features to go along with these mirrors. Uh, power folding feature too, not sure if I mentioned that. So great features go along with that, including your bliss. Blind spot information system with cross check alert. So the way that works is if there's someone in your blind spot, it's gonna put a light in those little cars in the, in the corner of those mirrors and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also, as you're backing up, someone's gonna cross your path. It's gonna light up the mirror from the side they're coming from, puts a message on your productivity screen, as well as a series of tones that it's not safe to back up. Another feature is included on this bliss is if you have, if you're towing something, it's gonna also show you the, uh, it's gonna monitor the, the blind spot of your trailer. So trailer monitoring to go along with that. So great features, you wanna make sure you activate that when you go into that tow mode for that vehicle. 
Also, uh, while I'm talking about some of the, uh, the ballistics and such, something else that's going to be standard equipment on your F-150 I haven't talked about so far is your lane keeping system. So lane keeping system includes your driver alert, your lane departure alert, and lane departure aid. So you can actually, not only is it going to alert you when you leave your lane by vibrating the steering wheel and let you know that you've left your lane, but also if you want to put it on that aid system, it's going to help try to keep you in your lane. So it's going to use that, it's going to sense it a little bit earlier than it would if you're uh, departing from your lane and keep you in your lane. So lane keeping system is a great feature to have. Also, body color door handles, and again, this is a Chrome appearance package, so you can see that image off of Ford's website. Body color door handles, it will also come with an intelligent access, so with that key fob in your pocket, you just put your hands in the door handle, and it's going to automatically unlock the vehicle, let it get in and out. Also, you can just press the knob to lock it, so again, you don't have to get the keys uh, you know, out to unlock or lock the vehicle using the remote. You can if you want to, using that remote. Also, will come with remote start on the remote itself, so you'll have that remote start system as well. Keypad entry over here on the pillar, so you can use that to you know, put your keys inside if you want to, lock it up using the keypad to get in and out of the vehicle if you like. Privacy glass in these back windows and back glass keeps a little bit cooler for everyone inside. And then you do have the easy fuel capless filler door. So uh, on the power boost, you will actually have to use the little door uh, button inside. Uh, it likes to lock those on those hybrid engines the same way as it is on a Fusion. Uh, but open that up and then you can go ahead and just fill it up. No cap to worry about leaving behind, getting your hands dirty. Uh, it's, it has to have the exact size nozzle as uh, it's, it comes from the, at the pumps. So even if you run out of gas, you can't use the cans fun, or gas thing nozzle because it will not fit in there. You'll need to use the funnel that comes with the vehicle, usually going to be located with your jack on the passenger side behind the rear seat back there. So also the uh, fuel tank size is going to be 23 gallon for your super cabs. 26 gallon is going to be standard on your super cruise. We'll talk about optional fuel tanks as we go along in the video. Now as we move to the back back here, of course this will have the body cut applique typically on these, but this and of course is a chrome appearance package, so that's the difference there. Rear view camera, you can see it'll have the LED lighting back here uh, as well. That uh, helps with the zone lighting, so you use these lights, uh, this light back here to do the zone lighting back here as well as the lights uh, over here on uh, your backup lights too. So uh, very bright backup lights uh, to go along with this. You do have, of course, your chrome bumpers along here with a reverse sensing system. So it'll uh, let you know as you're backing up if you get close to anything uh, with a reverse sensing uh, back here in the back. Uh, so real nice equipment here. You will uh, come with standard equipment with the class four receiver hitch, uh, standard equipment with your wiring to go along with that. Uh, so a little, the wiring is all right there on the side. You will have your spare tire un underneath there. To get to that, you take your jack and you would use this little uh, lock here to remove that so that you can take that down. Pretty similar to the way it was in 2020. I did a video on how to lower the jack, uh, or how to lower the tire, where to find the jack, that kind of thing in a video. You can check that out if you want to on our YouTube channel. So this will have the remote tailgate release as well, just like it did last year. So you just press that uh, button twice and it's gonna go ahead and release it down. Uh, so pretty nice little system there. A couple different th things for accessories here that this vehicle has that you're typically not gonna have, but you will have this, these openings for any kind of uh, clamps you wanna put on there to work with it. The workstation is a standalone option this particular truck has. We'll get into that in just a little bit. Also, all your uh, power boost engines will come with the Pro Power on board, the 2.4 kilowatts. Of course, we did upgrade on this particular one. This one does have uh, the bigger uh, Pro Power on board. Also, you get the LED box lighting, so the little button is over there uh, beside it, so it lights up those LED lights in these corners, as well as the LED cargo light on the back of the cab back there. Center high minus stop light is going to be halogen up there, that red light up there on top of the cab. You will have the box link system. As you can see, the plates are already in position on this particular truck. They come along with the lockable cleats. We usually leave it in the package uh, inside. Plus, you have the tie downs uh, as well back here, just like we have in past years. The back glass is going to have a power sliding rear window with rear defrost back there. And of course, privacy glass, as I already mentioned, on the back. So uh, pretty nice standard equipment here on the back of the truck. Let's go ahead and move inside and cover some of the features on the inside. Now moving to the interior, a lot of features here on the interior. So, um, and again, this is a 502A equipment group. Uh, so there's some things that this vehicle has on it that is not gonna be standard equipment on your 500A or all of your Lariat. So we'll go through these. 
Now, one of them you can uh, notice is these uh, the bench, the bucket seats here. Uh, that's actually uh, optional. That's a, that's part of the 502A equipment group. Um, so typically, your standard seating configuration on the 500A will be the bench seat, 40-20-40 split bench seat there. Uh, underneath the 20% side, you will have stores underneath that seat, so you can lift that up. I'm giving you some images from Ford's website, what the standard seating configuration is, but there will be options. We'll talk more about bucket seats later in the video when we get to those different packages, as well as the standalone options that are available, even on the 500A uh, for you there, and what flexibility you need, or what you need to do to go up to the bucket seats if you want those, like this one. Dual power seats, the driver and front passenger will have 10-way power adjustable seat, heated and ventilated seat for the driver and front passenger up here uh, for the seating configuration uh, uh, with this. Also, check out the dash. Uh, you can see what that looks like again. I gave you a clip of it earlier when we talked about the airbags, uh, but now you can kind of see that again on this particular vehicle. Uh, three different color interior themes or in, in, in color interiors you can go with on the Lariat trim. Uh, you can go with this and happens to be the black with the uh, tan interior here. So this is the Baja tan, so real nice look here. You can see where the difference is with the tan versus the black accents. You know, you're going to get that, that black on the top. And I love this color. It's really not just a, a solid black. You can see uh, just the, the textured look to it. And you can see that in inserts on the door. And I just love the finish on that, what Ford did with this. Also, you have a dark slate interior, which is more of a gray interior. So where you're seeing the tan on this particular vehicle, that's where you're going to see the gray come through if you choose to go with the gray. Again, here's a clip from Ford's website so you get an idea of what that's going to look like uh, on the interior for, with one with the bench seat there uh, to give you a good idea. And the third option is black and black. So you have a completely black interior. So again, where the tan is would be your black interior. So three different options, whether you want to go with the tan, the gray, or the black like you're seeing in that image right there. Uh, three great options for you there. Let's talk about the configuration in the back seat. 60-40 split bench seat for the Super Cab and the Super Crew. Your Super Crews will get a uh, armrest also that comes out of the middle backrest like this particular vehicle does back here. And then uh, you also will get uh, some USB ports back in the back on the uh, for those in the back seat to be able to use. So you'll be a USB and a USB Type-C plug-ins back there. Uh, again, this is one with the console. We'll get more into that in just a little bit here. Now moving up to the front again, we've got power windows and locks and mirror switches here on the door. Uh, the front windows are uh, a one touch down and up for the driver and front passenger, which means you just hard press it and they'll go down. You don't have to hold them as well as coming up that way too. You also get driver memory that memorizes the position for the driver's seat, the mirrors, as well as the power adjustable pedals, which is what I'm going to talk about next. Uh, those power adjustable pedals will bring those pedals forward and back using the switches over here uh, just by your parking brake there, as you can see right there uh, underneath the steering wheel. So also over here on the left, let's go over some of these switches over here. You're probably curious on those. Uh, the, on the top towards the left, you do have those the spotlights for those mirrors. That's where you would activate those spotlights beside those mirrors, the left and the right. Uh, below, uh, just to the right of that is a switch where you can press that and that's your tailgate, your power release tailgate. So you can press it and it'll go down, especially if somebody needs to get some stuff in the back and you don't want to uh, be able to, to open it or stay in here, whatever, you can do that right there. Of course, you do have your light switch there. To the left of that, you do have a cargo light, so you can press that. Turns the cargo light on on the back of the cab. And then below that is for your uh, your uh, power boost engines. You would That would be how you would release that door. For some reason on all hybrids, they have a locking door. Uh, you just press that button and it all releases the door to get your fuel there. To the right of the uh, your your light switch there is going to be the switches for your dimming for your productivity screen, which we're going to talk about next. 12 inch digital productivity screen. So upgraded from an 18 or from an 8 uh, LCD to the 12 inch. Love that. You probably did see some images and how it changes the colors of that display for your drive modes, but a lot of different things in there. And we'll be doing some future videos on the 12 inch uh, productivity screen in the future. So be looking for those, uh, those videos. Steering wheel is a leather wrapped black steering wheel here. Uh, so love the those leather wrapped steering wheels. You do have a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel, which you just pull lever and it'll go up and down, forward and back. Uh, so you can adjust the steering wheel as well. Left uh, 
and switch over here is going to be your for your of course your turn signal as well as your wipers that's where you, those are going to be located right over there you do have push button start uh, oh actually before we get to that on the steering wheel itself uh, you the buttons here on the right side are going to be able to control that productivity screen in there as well as some phone and some settings for your presettings for your audio controls there the switch on the left side is going to be your cruise control and this one's going to look a little different than the standard cruise control because this is a, an upgraded uh, as part of the 502A equipment group. Uh, but you'll have the, the cruise control on the top and then down below you're going to have some more audio controls and that's you're going to see your Bluetooth button if there you want to make receive phone calls you would press that one right there with your hands on the steering wheel itself. Okay, push button start so you don't have to get the keys out to get in or out of the vehicle or to start it. So you can just use that to start the vehicle. Uh, of course, I already talked about, we already did see an image of the drive mode and your 4x4 shift on the fly is going to be located to the left of your climate control. And uh, these other switches uh, to the left over here we're going to talk about later. They're actually not standard equipment on all of the Lariats. You can see your climate control, dual zone auto climate control. So the driver and front passenger have two different temperatures. Your heated and cooled seats or ventilated seat button switches are right there, easy to get to. Uh, I love the nice new design of those switches uh, right there as well. Standard equipment, AM FM stereo with uh, eight, uh, six speakers. Audio sound system comes with Sirius XM satellite radio. It's that 360L, which means if you're you know, listening to Sirius at, in a home, um, system or maybe even on your phone you transition to your car it should keep that and let you listen to that same song or whatever you're at when you get into the vehicle uh, also you're going to get the big 12 inch uh, screen here nice 12 inch touch screen so they have upgraded one of the big upgrades lariat standard equipment on all lariats uh, xlt it's available but it's not standard equipment on an xlt so nice big uh, 12, uh, screen here love the look of that uh, you know what's great, this does have the SYNC 4 system that's a new upgraded SYNC 4. First time really seeing the SYNC 4 in any of the vehicles in the Ford lineup uh, for the 2021 model year. And it's just a better voice uh, connectivity. So it's conversational type of, of listening and voice commands that will, will work with this. Also, the, the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are going to all work wirelessly. So on the iPhones, you had to plug those in if you wanted to use the Apple CarPlay. You won't have to do that with the Sync 4 system. It's going to be able to be controlled wirelessly now. A lot of people have been asking for that. Uh, as well as you will have the connected navigation system, uh, which means you have the navigation on here, but you will have to sign, come up and sign up with a subscription to be able to use it uh, in the vehicle. So that's just uh, something that they're uh, going to right there. So uh, real nice uh, touchscreen. We'll get in that. We'll also be doing a video on this uh, touchscreen and the Sync 4 system. Uh, digital owner's manual will be on here. Over the air updates, all that will be included uh, with that right there. So, I uh, realize how that works. Uh, when you have the, you will have USB ports, uh, USB and a USB Type C uh, available. It should be on the ones with the bent seat. It should be right below the climate control. That's where that'll probably be located uh, there for you, as well as a PowerPoint uh, for you too to be able to plug in your different phones and everything else like that. You do have auto dimming a rear view mirror uh, right here. So cars come behind you with those bright lights. It's going to make a dim the mirror just like the driver's side exterior mirror will do for you. So that's uh, going to uh, come in real handy. Overhead console will include a sunglass bin up here. Just flip it open and you can put those sunglasses in there or whatever you want to store in there as well as your uh, your lights and everything uh, switches are right up there. So I think I've con uh, talked about, about just about everything. You will get... Um, also ambient lighting, there'll be ice blue, only color you have there, so you won't be able to change that if you're looking for that. There's no place to change the color. It's ice blue in your F-150s, uh, and that should light up your cup holders uh, for those with the bucket seats. Also the foot wells down here as well as the doors uh, with the ice blue lighting. Also you're going to get the Ford Pass Connect. So that allows you to stay connected to your vehicle using the Ford Pass app. Download the app and you can do all kinds of cool stuff like remote starting your vehicle from anywhere. You can unlock and unlock your vehicle, schedule remote start times, locate your vehicle, all kinds of stuff. And that's where you're going to see your Ford Rewards points are in there for free service and that kind of thing. As you uh, purchase a vehicle, you'll get enough for two free oil changes or for accessories, whatever you might want. Every time you bring a vehicle into a Ford dealer, you're going to get more rewards points just kind of like you would at maybe Starbucks or some one of those places there. So uh, I think I've covered everything now uh, that's standard equipment. Uh, let's talk about some of the other different equipment groups uh, before we get into those packages. 
So let's talk about the 501A equipment group. So this equipment group does include some interior convenience features for you. One of them being the B&O audio sound system, that Bang & Olufsen sound system with eight speakers, including a subwoofer uh, and HD radio. So it does upgrade it quite a bit. Uh, as you can see, this vehicle does have the B&O audio sound system because it also will come with the 502A equipment group. Uh, so it's got those nice big speakers in the doors as well as up here. Uh, there's going to be one up there on the, uh, the dash as well as over here on the pillars. So a uh, pretty nice audio sound system uh, and that will really upgrade it from those uh, six speaker to an eight speaker with the subwoofer in the vehicle. Also, you're going to get the universal garage door openers. It's these switches up here so you can program different transmitters or garage doors to these. So you don't have to have the garage door on here or in your you know console or anything like that. Uh, so you can just program those universal garage door openers right up here uh, for it. Also, you're going to get upgraded with the 400 watt onboard uh, outlets. So you're going to get one for the, if you have the bench seat, you're going to get one up here uh, and you're going to get uh, up here just kind of like this one here. So it'll be on the dash for you in the, what they call the instrument panel right here. So you'll get this 110 outlet here uh, or the uh, 400 watt <laughs> outlet here, uh, but you'll also get the one in the bed too. So you'll get one back there. If you have the bucket seats you also get one behind the console so you get the bucket seats at the console so you would also get one back there as well uh, so you do get that switched out so on your uh, bench seat you would actually take away two usb ports and give you the 110 outlet so uh, whereas in the bucket seats you actually gain the 110 outlet so the difference there uh, on this uh, what that's going to look like on the 400a or the 501A equipment group here for you. So three great options or three great features that are included in the 501A equipment group. But let's move on to the 502A. So let's talk about the 502A equipment group. A big upgrade when you go to this equipment group. It comes with a lot of features, uh, three of which we've already talked about. You know, those outlets uh, are going to be included here in this equipment group, as well as the B&O audio sound system and the gra universal garage opener. You're also going to get bucket seats. This is where you're going to get buckets as standard equipment is with the 502A equipment group. So you get the bucket seats with the big flow through console, nice wide console with a shifter here. The shifter does fold down uh, just like that. Even if you don't get the interior work surface that's optional equipment, you're still that's still always going to fold down. Anything with the console and the uh, console shifter uh, is going to have the shifter that folds down. It's, that's just the way they're making all of those anymore. So uh, real nice and how that's and that con it's controlled. You select shift. I didn't think I mentioned it earlier, but for the console, uh, if you have this, the select shift or progressive shift is over here on the left side of that if you put it in that manual mode. So uh, real nice and how that works. Uh, for your uh, the, where the outlet and all the, the USB ports are located, if you get the console, you will have this USB uh, bin up here, or the media bin, I should say, with a USB and a USB Type-C outlet right in there. Also, there's a cell phone holder that comes with it. Uh, you can take it out. You can kind of see uh, you just positioned over here, and you can put your cell phone upright right in there. And even the bigger cell phones, I have a Note uh, 10, and it's, it fits in there, and it's uh, real nice and how that works. And then you'll have your outlet over there. Behind the console, you're going to see also two USB ports, just like those ones up front. You're going to also get the outlet, and you're going to get a PowerPoint located back there. Probably already noticed in this clip that there's heated seat controls back there. So the rear heated seats is also another feature on the 302 or the 502A equipment group. Uh, so we'll have your heated seat on those two outbound seats back there too. So some great convenience features for those in the back. Also, another heated feature that you're going to get is the heated steering wheel. Heated steering wheel is part of the 502A equipment group along with your power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So electronically, that steering wheel will go up and down, forward and back, so you can get it just right along with power adjustable pedals. That will be included with your memory features when you, get, when you go up to the 502A equipment group. Uh, so nice upgrade there. Also, rain sensing wipers is also included in the 502A equipment group. So you just put in one of the intermittent settings over here, and then when it starts to rain, it's going to automatically turn your wipers on, uh, as well as when it stops raining, it won't uh, turn them on. Rain's a little harder, they're going to wipe a little faster. You don't have to control anything just as long as you have one of your intermittent settings there. Uh, actually, it has the three raindrops there. That's where you want to have that and it's going to go ahead and, and be able to have that turned on. So I uh, love how that all uh, that works there. Also, this is where you're going to see the LED projector beams. So instead of a reflector, now you have the projector headlights up there as well as the LED taillights 
and you're gonna get the dynamic bending that goes along with these headlights. So uh, that's real nice being able to, to see as you go into the curves instead of seeing where the, the vehicle is actually pointed. So it's where, when you turn your steering wheel, it's gonna bend to go along with the road and with your steering. So I love how that all works. So that's also included. But it's also included in the 502A equipment group is an appearance package. Typically, it's the chrome appearance package. So let's get outside and talk about that package. Now, before we get into the chrome appearance package that's included on the 502A equipment group, there's another package that's also included in this equipment group, and that is a Copilot 360 Assist 2.0. So this is a, a great package. Uh, they have upgraded it from last year, so the this, this was available last year, but this year it's even better. So it's gonna include the intelligent adaptive cruise control. What makes it intelligent? Uh, there is adaptive before, but now Intelligent also recognizes the speed signs as well as keeps you in the center of your lane and includes stop and go. So if you're going slower than there's a car in front of you and you're behind them and they're going um, much slower than you, it's going to slow you down to go their speed until you pass them and you speed back up. Even can bring you to a complete stop without you having to initiate your brake. In helps keep you in the center of your lane as well as recognizes the speed sign. So let's say you're going 70 in a 70 mile an hour zone and you want to be uh, five over and you have that crew set at 75, uh, then when that speed sign changes to 65, it's going to slow you down to 70. So it's really nice and how that works. Also to go along with this, you also do get the evasive steering assist, which we've been seeing on Explorer and, and Edge, now available uh, with this for the F-150, as well as the brand new intersection assist, which we haven't seen on any, any vehicle so far, help you avoid those accidents at those intersections. Uh, that's included with this, uh, this package uh, that's also included in all of your 502A equipment groups, as well as the connected built-in navigation. So what's the difference between connected navigation and connected built-in navigation? Uh, well, on the connected navigation, you will get a trial period for the navigation. After that, you will have to sign up with a subscription. Uh, the connected built-in, you get three years, I believe it's three years, uh, is included with that. So then you'll, you'll have a little bit longer with that before having to sign up for that subscription. So uh, that's how that works. Great, great package with some great safety features. That standard equipment, that package is included in your 502A equipment group. Let's talk about the Chrome Appearance Package. Chrome Appearance Package, so the 502A technically comes with an appearance package. Typically they say the 502A includes the Chrome Appearance Package, but you also can get the Sport Appearance Package instead if you want to. But let's go ahead and start with this, the Chrome Appearance Package and how it's gonna change the look of the vehicle. Uh, I did mention when we talked about standard equipment a few things, one of them being the Chrome Grille up here. So you will see the Chrome Grille is standard equipment, but now you're gonna get some silver accents. So a silver surround as well as silver inserts to that grill to really make that grill pop there on the front. Also, if you get a four x four, the tow hooks on the front will turn from black to chrome up there. Your standard wheel will be the 18 inch chrome wheels. Grade is optional equipment to a 20 inch chrome wheel if you want to. That's gonna be available, we'll get into that when we get to optional equipment here in just a little bit. Your mirror caps are gonna go from body color mirror caps to the chrome, uh, what they call skull caps here. Uh, so that's gonna dress up those over here. Also, you're going to see the chrome door handles, uh, so real nice and how those look. Also does have the chrome bezel up here. They're actually not listed on the order guide, uh, but this particular vehicle has the chrome accent on the uh, belt line there. That's going to be included. Also, your running boards are going to be included in this package, so you're going to have nice chrome angular step bars over here. Uh, so typically, uh, running boards are not standard equipment on the vehicle, but when you go to the chrome appearance package, you do get the running boards here on the side. Also, the tailgate handle back there is gonna have a chrome accent on there. Of course, that handle doesn't open or anything because we do have the power tailgates. And then you're gonna get the chrome exhaust tip as well included in this package. So again, great package that's included. Uh, of course, chrome appearance package is typically what you see when you order the 502, 502A equipment group, but on the 502A, you can also get the sport appearance package. So let's talk about that package next. Now I'm about ready to do the sport appearance package, but a couple things I did forget to mention on the 502A equipment group, it is not available with the super cab long beds. So keep that in mind. If you want that 502A equipment group, you need to either be super crew with either the five or the six, uh, with the five and a half or six and a half foot bed, or a super cab with the six and a half foot bed. So keep that in mind with the 502A equipment group. Also something to note on the Chrome appearance package, it is standard equipment on your 502A equipment group, but it's also available on 501A equipment group too. So you can 
uh, get it that way. Uh, it is available with the Super Cab Long Bed on the 501A. You can get the Chrome Appearance Package. Now let's talk about the Sport Appearance Package. The other appearance package you get for 2021 on the Lariat Trim is the Sport Appearance Package. This is available on the 501 or 502A Equipment Group. Either one of those is not available with your Long Bed Super Cab. So eight foot bed, not available, just like last year uh, with this appearance package. So you, you can go 502A and get this appearance package instead of the Chrome appearance package, just like we did on this particular truck, which is a 502A equipment group. So let's talk about that now. Keep in mind, uh, it is gonna take your, whatever's a standard on the 500A for the mirror caps and the door handles. So you'll have body colored mirror caps and door handles instead of the Chrome we just got done talking about. So those will stay just like they are from the standard Lariat trim. Now looking at the bumpers, you will get body colored front and rear bumpers. So it is gonna upgrade those, give you more of a sport look to it. Your grill for this year is gonna be a dark two bar grill with the minor bar in the middle there with the black surround and black accents uh, in the grill. So basically the, the grill, the surround, the same surround you'd get on um, from factory on the Lariat. Now you're gonna upgrade to the dark. And it is not a black grill. It looks pretty close to that. And it's not, they're not saying it's carbonized gray either. They're calling it uh, dark. So it is a little bit of a gray color there to it, but a very dark gray, really like it. You're gonna see the same color over here on the fender vent. So it's gonna go from chrome uh, to this dark fender vent over here as well. Your wheels are gonna be, uh, I'm gonna show you a clip from Ford's website. The standard wheel for the sport appearance package is an 18 inch. Uh, machine alloy wheel with the uh, painted pockets. So pretty sharp wheel there. Uh, we elected to upgrade on this particular vehicle to the 20 inch uh, dark alloy wheels here. And if you do go with the diesel, you're required to upgrade to the 20 inch dark wheel like you're seeing on this particular vehicle as well. Runner boards on the side, uh, they look, well, to me, they look black. They're calling them a, an accent color is what Ford likes to call it. Angular step bars. So chrome appearance package will get chrome. The uh, the sport appearance package will get these black boards on the side over here. Your badging, you'll get the sport badging on the side as well, unless you do get and decide to add the FX4 package to your vehicle, which we're gonna talk about in just a little bit. Uh, if you do get that, FX4 package decal will always supersede the sport appearance package. Chrome exhaust tip as well back here uh, on the sport as well as your chrome appearance package. So giving you a nice little pop on that exhaust tip. And then it'll have its own dedicated interior trim. It uh, doesn't go into specifics in the order guide, but from what I can tell on the vehicle, you're gonna see on the instrument panel, you're gonna see this nice, uh, I think it's a dark anno uh, gray color of the trim there. Really love how it looks on it, as well as on the door handle too. You're gonna see it on the side on that door pull uh, over there. So really dresses that up and, and gives it a little different interior trim to you. Of course, you will get uh, still leather seats and you will get the console shifter there. Uh, just like you're seeing with this particular vehicle with the bucket seats. So I uh, really like that. Of course, when you go to the 502A, you're already gonna get bucket seats. Uh, and then of course, you'll get your special uh, shifter there that you get on all of your console, oh, any of your vehicles with the console there. So sport appearance package, again, available on the 501A or 502A equipment group, not available with your super cab long bed. Yeah, I want to talk about a couple packages that are part of the Ford Copilot 360 series. And one of them we already talked about as being standard equipment or included in the 502A equipment group, but is also available on the 500 or 501A equipment group. And that's that Ford Copilot 360 Assist 2.0. Remember that includes the intelligent adaptive cruise control with all those features, evasive steering assist, intersection assist, in that connected built-in navigation. Again, that is uh, standard as part of the 502 equipment group, but you can order it on the 500 or 501A equipment group, but it will require you to get the tow technology package or a co the 360 camera package, one of those two, uh, when you get to, to be able to get that package there. Also, another Copilot 360 package that is new for this year, available on the 502A equipment group. Uh, it does also require you to have the tow technology package or the 360 camera, and that's that Copilot 360 Assist Active 2.0 prep package. So this is a, it is a prep package because you're getting all the hardware for that autonomous driving. That active drive assist is what they're calling it. So you'll get the, the hardware will come with it as part of this package. Software update they're saying is gonna be third quarter of 2021. Uh, so in the fall this, this year, 
uh, but also will come with the active park assist 2.0 as well so it comes with both of those features you can see the sensors on the side of the bumpers here to where it helps you parallel park the vehicle reverse perpendicular park the vehicle as well as park out and i actually did a video when this first came out on an edge uh, a couple years ago so you can check out that video under our how-to videos i'll try to link it below if i remember uh, but otherwise you can go to our youtube channel and, and check it out under our how-to videos uh, that is that park assist 2.0 uh, a great system and how that all works now i want to talk about a couple packages that are uh, required on that copilot 360 now since we're kind of just talked about it and talk about how those features and how those packages work one of them is your uh, 360 degree camera so we did uh, talk about the copilot 360 that if you have that and you have, requires you to get 360 degree camera so let's talk about that that is a series of cameras around the vehicle so you're going to see one under each of these mirrors as well as in the front and the back to see completely around the vehicle uh, so that way you can see in that split screen view on that big 12 inch screen is massive uh, that you can see you know the, not only completely around you but your back or front camera depends on which direction you're going you can hit different camera options to get a little bit closer view or maybe just the full backup camera if you need to if you're back up to a trailer that kind of thing which does remind me to get this package it does require to have either the trailer tow package or the max trailer tow package uh, to be able to order the 360 degree camera another uh, package we talked about that you either either need the 360 degree camera or the tow technology package as part of the copilot 360 features uh, and the tow technology package includes the 360 degree camera uh, it does require to have at least a class 4 receiver hitch which standard equipment on the lariat so you're good to go there uh, and this package is available, uh, the tow technology package, on all three of your equipment groups as well. So uh, not only the 360 camera that's included with this, but also you're going to get the Pro Trailer Backup Assist. That is that dial that you see on the dash or on your instrument uh, panel there. And you just use that dial to control your trailer. So you're just controlling the trailer. You don't have to worry about your steering wheel at all. The steering wheel does it for you. Just all you have to do is turn that dial. Also, you get the trailer brake controller, which is also on the instrument uh, panel there. Uh, that's going to be included in this tow technology package as well as you get the trailer uh, reverse guidance system which is something we did see for 2020, uh, 2020 on the super duty now moving over to the uh, f-150 for 21 giving you that camera on the back of the cab as well uh, so that you can see and, and kind of you you're able to see right beside your trailer that way and get a close-up view of that so that that works really well as well as your smart trailer tow connector so uh, now with this package you uh, is not required to get the tow uh, the trailer tow package or the max trailer tow package because it includes all the same features and that's why if you look in the order guide you're not able to add the trailer tow package in this package uh, it's not needed because it includes all the same features so let's talk about the couple different trailer tow packages now the big difference here is uh, the tow technology package is going to include a lot of the same features as both of your different tow packages the difference is that 360 degree camera so if you're looking at that going well, what do i do if you want that 360 camera and then all the other features from the, the trailer tow packages go with that tow technology package for those of you that don't want the camera system tow the trailer tow package is going to include your integrated trailer brake controller it's going to also give you that uh, smart uh, the pro backup assist that dial there to be able to control that trailer as well as your smart trailer tow connector Larry it's already come with the the hitch and the wiring so you're gonna already have that as well as the LED light on the back of it uh, typically would come with that on some of the lower trims but since Larry already comes with it you're getting those three features so it does upgrade give you those switches there that you a lot of people like for uh, pulling any kind of trailer so trailer tow package is what you'd want to order is available on any of your equipment groups now talking about the max trailer tow package that takes of course everything from the tow package that's already included uh, will be included in the max trailer tow package along with an upgraded rear bumper so this is really you're wanting to tow the maximum amount you go with this package upgrades the rear bumper also on your 3.5 liter ecoboost engine as well as your 5.0 liter which i forgot to mention this year for this package this package is available on any of your equipment groups also available on all of your engines with the exception of the 2.7 that includes the 5.0 the 3.5 3.0 diesel as well as the new hybrid engine all are available with the max for the tow package so it does upgrade that rear bumper as well as it gives you a 36 gallon fuel tank with your 5.0 liter engine and your ecoboost engine not with your diesel or your hybrid engine also does upgrade to electronic locking differentials 331 or sorry 355 uh, electronic locking 
for your, uh, your, you know, your engines like the, the diesel engine as well as your EcoBoost engine. Now also the two-wheel drive hybrid engine. And then you're going to get the 373 electronic locking for the 4x4 hybrid as well as your 5.0 liter V8 engine. So that's a great different package of how those all work. Uh, now if you're wanting that 360 camera, uh, you can go ahead and get that uh, with that tow technology package. That's what I encourage you to do. Uh, but if you want to tow the maximum amount, you may want to get that max to the tow package. Last package I want to talk about before we get to standalone options is the FX4 off-road package available in any of your equipment groups does require to have 4x4 of course and off FX4 off-road package is a great package if you plan on going off-road out in the fields or doing some off-roading yourself uh, this is a great package of course it does include your skid plates underneath to protect uh, your fuel tank and your front differential uh, so that is going to protect you underneath there giving you those skid plates uh, also it's going to upgrade your shocks so you're going to get off-road front shocks as well as monotube rear shocks so really upgrades those shocks to be able to handle the off-road situations uh, also going to give you hill descent control so you can help if you're going down those hills so you have the hill descent control also for this year, the rock crawl mode. So that's gonna be included in the FX4 package. We did see that in the Ranger, as well as the Trimmer package and the Raptor, now available in the 2021 F-150 in this FX4 package. Uh, I believe that's the only way you can get that. We'll talk more about that uh, later, but uh, real nice getting that rock crawl mode as well with this. You're gonna also get floor liners inside. So you're gonna get the uh, all weather mats that are gonna go with this package. You'll get the FX4 badging on the side, just like we had with that, the red truck that was in here earlier. So you'll have the FX4 badging on the side, and you're gonna get upgraded with electronic locking differentials. So, you know, your, a lot of your engines, like the, uh, of course, your, your 5.0 liter engine and your diesel engine, as well as your um, 3.5 EcoBoost engine will be upgraded to a 331 electronic locking differential. 355 for your 2.7 liter engine and you already know you get 373 electronic locking with your power boost engines now you do have availabilities with some of those other engines like the ecoboost and the 30 to upgrade to 355 if you want to as optional equipment uh, as well as even on the 5.0 you can upgrade not only to 355 but on up to 373 along with the 2.7 liter engine can upgrade to that as well so that's all optional though would cost you a little extra on top of the package but that is available for you one package I almost forgot before moving on to standalone options, and that is the snowplow prep package. So this package is available on the Lariat trim, uh, is available on the Super Cab or the Super Crew. Any of your bed links is available as well. Uh, does require to have 4x4, and it also does require to have the 5.0 liter V8 engine with this. Uh, now it does change some things out. Uh, it does change your four-wheel drive system from the two-speed automatic 4x4 system to the electronic shift on the fly with the two high and or the yeah two high as well as your four high and the four low so it gives you that different four-wheel drive system also does give you the snow plow uh, mode there so that snow plow mode uh, does allow you to be able to use, control that snow plow there now it does uh, note that when you're using that mode you're not able to use some of the other functions that take some electric current in the vehicle like your outlets like your 400 watt outlets will not be uh, usable your fog lights will not be usable as well as your heated and ventilated seats will not be able to be used so keep that in mind warm that truck up before you go on out and plow in any snow with this uh, but this is available on your lariat trim on the 500 or 501A equipment group, not available on the 502A. Now let's talk about some standalone options. We'll break this out into factory installed options as well as accessories you can get either from the factory or from your Ford dealership. We'll break it out that way. First talking about the front, uh, you can get a couple different things up there. One of them is your engine block heater. Available on the 500, 501 or 502A equipment group. Great feature to have. Uh, if you want, if you live in a cold weather state, leave your truck outside a lot, you want to be able to plug it in, keep it warm so it starts easier the next morning, you can get the engine block heater on your truck. Also front license plate bracket. If you're in a state that requires a front license plate, it's standard equipment uh, from the factory. If you're in a state like Kansas does not require a front tag, it is optional equipment. It's a no charge option, so you order it, uh, the dealer will put it on free of charge. A lot of times we won't put it on unless you decide you need it or in your state that requires a front tag since we do a lot of out-of-state sales and we'll of course put it on free of charge at that point uh, and then if you want something personalized like i do with my truck uh, it's nice having that on the front of it over there talking about the wheels a couple different options for those you do have the course chrome appearance package you can upgrade to the 20 inch chrome wheels so of course does require the chrome appearance package as well as the sport appearance package you can upgrade to the 20 inch 
uh, dark wheels that you're seeing on this particular truck here. So a couple different options for upgrading from those 18s to the 20s. Both of those 20 inch wheels do require either a chrome appearance package or the sport appearance package. Talking about the running boards, a couple options here. We do have the chrome running boards that you see on the chrome appearance package is available on the 500A or 501A without the chrome appearance package. So it is gonna be those running boards we did see, the step bars, what some people like to call them, uh, that we saw earlier, the six inch chrome ones on that chrome appearance uh, truck over there. You can also get extended uh, running boards for that chrome, uh, as the chrome running boards as well. Uh, does is not available on the 500A with the two-wheel drive for some reason uh, and not available with the super cab long bed uh, for some reason either probably because it just doesn't look quite right uh, and also on the two-wheel drives it says it does require you to upgrade to the 20 inch uh, chrome wheels uh, so for some reason there so on the 500A you probably cannot get the extended ones for that reason because on the 500A you cannot get the chrome the 20 inch chrome wheels because you wouldn't get the chrome appearance package and then the sport wheel, the sport running boards over here are not available unless you have a sport appearance package truck. Also, you can get an extended range uh, black running boards like we have with this in here, the sport running boards. Uh, you can get those, of course, since you can't get a long bed super cab, we'll talk about that. Uh, but does the two wheel drive does require to have the 20 inch wheels, uh, just like with the chrome ones there. So there are a couple different options. And I, I believe the extended sport running boards do require you to have super crew. Uh, model as well. So the super cab, short bed, uh, sport appearance package is not available with that extended uh, run aboard for some reason. So uh, the last option available is on a super crew with the 502A equipment group, you can get the power boards for the Lariat. So power boards will, will come down. Don't have a truck in stock yet with those boards, but you open the doors, those extended run aboard run boards will come down. Also, they now have the little uh, button on the back. So if you have the vehicle lock keys and you don't have the keys on you, you can just press that button under there with your foot and it's going to uh, come down for you. It'll stay down until you hit the button again to bring it back up. So showing you a clip from the video I did on some of the new features for this year, a video I did several weeks ago. Uh, so pretty cool running boards. So those power boards are available as well. Talk about the mirrors here. You can get a power scope trailer tow mirror. So if you're wanting to tow a lot of things, you can get the power scope mirror available on 500, 501 or 502A equipment group. Uh, does require to have the 360 degree camera as well as either the tow package or the max trailer tow package. Uh, that mirror is not available on the tow technology package. Uh, not sure why, uh, but it's not available with that package. So it uh, does allow you to power scope electronically your mirrors out uh, for towing uh, your trucks and that kind of thing right there. Also, uh, you can get two-tone paint. It's available on the 500, 501, or 502A equipment group. Uh, actually, sorry, just the 501 or 502A equipment group, not available on the 500A. Gives you the lower two-tone, usually it's a gray or a tan down there. We'll also, the front bumpers on the 501A without the chrome package, we'll get the bumpers uh, front and back will also be that accent color. If you do get the two-tone with the chrome appearance package, you'll, can, you'll retain the chrome bumpers on the front and back. So it'll give you that chrome look uh, up there on uh, uh, both the front and back. Also, extended range fuel tank, 36 gallon fuel tank, part of that max trailer tow package it is a standalone option on the 500, 501, or 502A with about all engines with the exception of the power boost and the 3.0 diesel. It's not available with those two engines, um, but that extended range is available on the other three engines for you. Again, standalone option there. I think I've covered everything here on the side, so let's go ahead and move around to the back. A couple new features I want to show you back there. Let's talk about a couple features that have to do here with the bed and the tailgate, and one of them is the Pro Power Onboard. New feature for this year, uh, we did talk about earlier that the 3.5 Power Boost is going to come standard with the 2.4 kilowatt uh, Pro Power Onboard, uh, and that's correct. Uh, but also, you can get as optional equipment the 2 kilowatt Pro Power Onboard for your other engines other than the 3.0 liter. Uh, diesel engine is not available with that engine. Uh, is available in any of your trim, any of your equipment groups, so 500, 501, or 502. Not available with the Super Cab long bed for some reason, uh, but you can get that two kilowatt. Also, your power boost, you can also upgrade to the 7.4 kilowatt if you have the power boost engine uh, with the vehicle. So that's going to give you uh, several more outlets back here to be able to use. Uh, so that's going to be a really nice addition for you. Also, for the Lariat trim, you can now get a power tailgate. We did show you earlier the power release where it, it, it goes down for you automatically when you use that remote. Uh, but 
Uh, I am going to demonstrate it going up here in just a little bit as we end the video or this section anyway. But I do want to show you with that, you also get the tailgate step back here. So tailgate step, uh, you just press that, the step goes down and it goes up. So that the tailgate step on the Lariat is included with the power tailgate as well as the, uh, the work surface right here. So the tailgate work surface is also part of the power tailgate for the Lariat trim. Uh, usually on other trims it'll be included with your tailgate step. Tailgate step and the work surface come together. And as you can see with some of these clips here I'm showing you is that it does have the ruler across there so you can use that if you need to quick measurements for some things that are right on what you need to has some uh, positions there for pins whatever you want right there um, and so a nice little work surface that you can add to this so uh, it kind of covers up the uh, tailgate itself so real nice and of course with the power tailgate not only do you get the tailgate step the work surface but you also get the power up tailgate which is a class exclusive so you just press that twice uh, and then it's going to go ahead and go up so let's go ahead and do that again. There we go. Probably because it was sitting for a little bit while I was pre prepping for this part of the video. So real nice. Power tailgate is available for your Lariat trim. Uh, any of your equipment groups, 500, 501, or 502. Now let's talk about some standalone options for the interior in here. Uh, some new ones for this year as well as some that we'd normally expect. Of course, on the 500A or the 501A equipment group, you can get the bucket seats with the floor console here. Uh, so that is available on, of course, 500 and 501. We already know it's standard equipment and as part of the 502A equipment group, but you can get the bucket seats. We'll include, of course, your power adjustments for the driver and front passenger as well as the heated and ventilated. All those features there does include the console as you can see right here with the shifter that folds down just by pressing that button uh, for you so that's gonna uh, come along with that uh, does require you to get the 400 watt uh, outlet uh, behind it because uh, that'll go behind the console so it does require that on your 500a uh, because 501 it's already included so if you do order the bucket seats on the 500a it will ask you to go ahead and requires you to add the 400 watt outlet as well go on to that on the 500a uh, the 500a you can as an optional equipment for your bench seat get the 400 watt outlet you'll have one up here just like we have up, up, up here already there'll be one in the bed as well as they i think they position one back on the back back there so uh, probably won't order a lot with the bench seat uh, but you can order that Speaking of the back seat back there, underneath those seats on your Super Crew models, you can get the partitioned lockable storage. So similar to what I think there is going to be on the F1, F, the Super Duty Now, available for the Super Crew models, uh, where you can lock that up put things store things in there and lock it up so people can't get into it so real nice especially if you're on the job site or whatever you can have that that should be that is available i believe on all of your different uh, your different equipment groups 500 501 or 502 uh, that's we're going to require you to have the super crew model there also floor liners so you can get floor liners uh, for the vehicle you can get it with or without the carpeted mat so in the past uh, you got the floor liners on top of already getting your carpeted mats now you can order them without so if you never use a carpeted mat always want the floor liners you can order it from the factory that way without the carpeted mats save yourself a little bit of money that way of course um, those mats would be in the footwells in the front as well as go across the back seat back there uh, from the factory also the Beano audio sound system so let's talk about that on the 501 a or the 500a equipment group it is available already stand, part of the 501 and 502 is that eight speaker Beano audio sound system with the subwoofer includes the HD radio. Kind of talked about the benefits of that earlier when we talked about that 501A equipment group. But let's talk about the BNO Unleashed. 18 speakers, including big speakers here in the headrest. In fact, I think there's multiple speakers in the headrest. You can see those perforations there. Uh, so giving you 18 speakers plus a subwoofer, HD radio, that's available on the 502A equipment group. Uh, if you want to go with that Unleashed, that uh, BNO Unleashed is not available in the 501A, only available in your 502A equipment group. So that's something you might want to add. Twin panel moonroof on your Super Crew models is available. I believe a 502A or above. Uh, I'll double check if I'm wrong on that. I'll put it on the screen. Uh, so uh, nice moonroof uh, ordered on a lot of our vehicles, or a lot of our Super Crews. Uh, so real nice uh, how that works. That might be available on the 501A equipment group. Again, I'll flash it on the screen for you uh, just to kind of confirm that there. 
Uh, also, we do have the interior work surface. So this is, of course, you fold that down. Interior work surface, standalone option on any of your equipment groups. Uh, you just have a little lever right here. You just fold that, and then it lays it down. Put your computer on there. Do some work, whatever. You need to write some something on some paper, whatever it might be. It gives you the interior work surface, so you can uh, be able to fold that down and have something to work on, putting that laptop out, whatever it might be, uh, right here. Uh, so real nice, and then just folds into place. Doesn't take away from the console cover itself. Uh, so real nice uh, how that interior work surface is going to work for the vehicle. So real nice. Also, integrated trailer brake controller is a standalone option on any of your equipment groups. It is included in your tow packages as well as your tow technology package. But if you wanted the standalone option, you can order it. You don't have to go up to the tow package to get it. Uh, being able to control that brake uh, for you if you're towing something like that. So uh, I think I've covered everything. Uh, if I didn't, I'll go ahead and add some here. But uh, that's all your standalone options. Factory installed options that you would typically order. But let's talk about some different accessories as well. Now I want to talk about a couple options that are dealer installed and that means you would order them from the factory, the dealer would install those beforehand so they call them DIOs uh, and one of them is uh, a bed divider. Bed divider is available on any of your equipment groups, uh, 501, 502, even 500A. It's going to use the box link brackets right there to put those bed dividers in there and divide your bed, uh, whether it be a eight foot bed, six and a half or, or a five foot bed, it'll work as a bed, those bed dividers to go in there and divide your bed up be able to put things in there so they won't roll around so much in your back of your bed if you want to. I actually thought about getting these myself. This is an option. can be ordered from your parts department later. You can put it in because they actually go in the slots. Um, so when they say dealer installed, technically they just come with the parts ahead of time and then the dealer actually just slides them in place, but the customer can do that as well. Also, you have the foldable bed extender available in the 501 or 502A equipment group. The foldable bed extender will fold up against the side of the bed over here and then extend out. I think I'm probably going to show you some clips from 2020 uh, where we had that. It connects together in the middle and it goes over the bed so you can extend your length a little bit if you have something long in there and you can contain it. Uh, a little bit as well as it'll rotate inside if you want to put some things grocers or whatever in the back if you have a bed cover it works real nice so those won't roll around in there either so that's an option for you of course the I forgot to mention the bed dividers is not available with the stowable ramps because it uses the same brackets uh, I think also the, the they're saying this bed extender uh, may not be available with stowable ramps just because it would get in the way uh, so there's a couple different uh, things you can get from the factory that way. Also another one is new for this year and that is a mounted camera on your trailer. So I uh, did see that with the Super Duty. Uh, individual also comes with a tire pressure monitoring system for trailers. Uh, but as a customer place camera, so you would add it. Uh, you have of course your cameras in this system. It does require you to have the tow technology package or a 360 degree camera package with a tow package to be able to get this and is available on any of your equipment groups so that's something that could be added to the vehicle too now let's talk about some ford accessories uh, things that you can add these can be added from the factory if you want to uh, or a lot of those can be ordered from your parts department at your local ford dealer and they can help you install them or you can install most of them yourself if you want to. Now, first one I want to talk about is something, the way to protect your bed um, that really has to be done from the factory. And that's a tough spray in liner. That is a factory accessory that you would want to get. It was pretty much a spray in liner inside your truck. It will have the Ford logo on the back of the bed. That way you know it's the Ford factory installed one versus a if somebody else does it they're just going to spray the liner so you would see, be able to see the difference between that most of your uh, dealers do have some place that they do uh, resource for that we do our own here at the dealership Toff spraying liners is what we use um, and they do a really a really good job of spraying it in so that's an option for you also you can get the drop-in liner drop-in liner is something you can get the Ford dealer can get it for you and slide it in and, and install it for you, or you can get that installed at the factory. Either way, you can go a couple different ways to protect your bed. Also, a couple different uh, toolboxes uh, you can get. Uh, same ones as last year, so they are weather, uh, weather guard toolboxes. Uh, they're aluminum toolboxes. You have a regular aluminum, and then you have a premium. Uh, so again, I really Ford hasn't uh, wasn't able last year to get images of these. Hopefully this year I can find those on their building price. A couple different toolboxes that you can put in the truck. Again, if you install the toolboxes, the you can't really use the back box link system, so you wouldn't be able to put uh, any of the stowable ramps or the bed divider on that back one if you do install that. So from the factory, you can't get 
that as well as those other things but you can order one or the other afterwards again all these can be custom and you can get these later after you get your truck also uh, about three different bed covers you can get from the uh, factory uh, you, of course you have a fold uh, hard folding bed cover uh, you also have the soft folding bed cover and for this year they do have a retractable bed cover that they're showing as uh, new for this year uh, available in any of your equipment groups just like the uh, the toolboxes were uh, as well as your bed uh, your bed liners uh, i forgot to mention that but a couple different options for you for different uh, bed covers some of these bed covers may not be compatible with the uh, bed dividers or the, lo the stowable loading ramps uh, so you can get one now get the others when the, after the truck comes in from your local parts department now let's talk about the stowable ramps stowable ramps come in real handy especially if you're wanting to put four wheelers uh, motorcycles in the back of your bed get the stowable ramps uh, the ramps go on the back of the tailgate load up your different belongings and then they can stow on the side over there they kind of fold up and stow on the side using those box link system and the different lockable cleats that come with the box link system so again that's not available with your bed divider uh, or some of your other uh, features but again you can order one or the other after you get your truck if you want to uh, and i believe the stowable ramps are available on the 501 and 502 not available on the 500a uh, if I'm not mistaken. No, actually it's available on all of your different trims, 500 as well. Now you can get wheel well liners. Uh, wheel well liners are only available in the 501 and 502A equipment group uh, for some reason, uh, but wheel well liners, again, another thing you can get from your parts department afterward and have your service department install them for you if you want to, uh, to really protect, especially if you're gonna go off road, uh, include it in the past. We've seen wheel well liners be included in the FX4 package, not for this year, uh, but it's something you can add as an optional equipment. Uh, I think I've covered everything else. Uh, that's all your different accessories. I'll also stand on options and everything uh, so to help you. Of course, with all kinds of different accessories you can get uh, for your truck. And even this year, they're even saying there's gonna be even more you can get through Ford accessories or through your local aftermarket department at your Ford dealer. So there you have it. That's our complete guide. We've covered all the standard equipment, the different equipment groups, the different packages, the standalone factory options, as well as accessories. I think we've covered it all in this complete guide. Walk around on the Lariat trim. Uh, be looking for other videos. We're gonna be doing those as well. And don't forget, you can check out our website for our inventory, lawmacarthur.com. There you can see, of course, full inventory. Window stickers you can pull up. You can see our internet price as well as pictures. You can even do a spin that we use here on this turntable as well on our website. And so be checking for that. If you have any questions, you can call or send us a text message at the numbers on the screen. Uh, so that way you can you know, get one of our coordinators and they can help you out, find just the right truck for you. And don't forget, we do free shipping. So free shipping, the way that works uh, is we do free shipping. Uh, we do cap it at about $1,000. We do ask that you finance the vehicle with us. We're very transparent about it. We don't want that cost to be incurred onto you if you plan on financing the vehicle anyway. Uh, you know, go ahead and work with one of our lenders and we can have the vehicle shipped right to your door. So if you want to make sure you get a vehicle ordered the way you want it to with the right equipment, packages, order from a dealership that knows what they're doing, knows how to order these vehicles and can get you the right vehicle uh, delivered right to your door just the way you want it. So uh, take advantage of that. Uh, a lot of people have. We delivered to about all 50 states uh, in 2020 and we plan to do the same this year uh, delivering all over the country. So again, that's how our free shipping works. Also, don't forget if you've, uh, you like this video, go and smash that like button, put your comments down below. Love getting the feedback uh, from you and answering any questions you might have there. You can also call us for any questions. Smash that like button if you did like this video. And don't forget if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, hit the red subscribe button down below so you can get subscribed to our channel. Hit the notification bell. You also get notified the next time another video uploaded to our uh, YouTube video, YouTube channel. And we are gonna be doing all the different trims as we get more inventory in. Uh, we have a couple King Ranches, so hopefully we'll be, doing, be able to do that one next. Uh, and uh, we'll do more and more in the 2021 F-150 series. We do have playlists available for all those. So as we get more videos in the playlist, at the end of the video, you'll be able to just click on that and see that. Uh, so hopefully uh, I helped you out, answered all the questions you might have. Uh, and uh, this has been a complete guide for you. Don't forget, you can find us on social media as well. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And until the next video, we'll see you later.